name's Anusha Fluk. I'm from Sydney. I love sailing and being on the water. I got into sailing really through my grandmother because the sailing club, which my grandmother's a member of, had a youth sailing program. And she basically just signed me up and then I started going. I actually hated it for the first couple of years because I was such a battler at it, but I just kept going. Uh, part time, I do photography jobs every now and then. And yeah, I love photojournalism and street photography. And I also love sailing photography as well. For a couple of the world championships we've had at my club, I've just like volunteered to be the photographer, go out and take photos. Uh, I really just love being on the water. There's so many elements to sailing, like you have the, like I like racing because you have the competition and there's the tactics and the strategy and the boats. And then you have the team, team element as well. Sailing's taken me to a couple of countries, which has been really exciting. We sailed around the islands in Denmark and raced in the Netherlands. Uh, I love sailing a lot of different types of boats. I've sailed on lasers and Elliot Sixes, which do match racing. And I've also sailed on yachts. I don't really have a favorite, they're also different. But right now I'll be going on an Ingling, which is a three person boat originating, originating from Norway. The biggest challenge I face when I'm sailing is trying to figure out how to do things my way, which often can take a lot of time and effort and practice. And that's probably why it takes me a bit, took me a really long time to get into sailing so enjoying it because it took me a while to work out certain ways I would like tack the boat myself or drive the boat without like you know, losing control. So on the Young Endeavour, the main mast is about 33 metres high and they have like three checkpoints till you get to the top. And to climb up to the very top of the mast, you have to climb up the ladder, which isn't actually vertically straight. It goes out at an angle. And to get into the bird's nest, um, you basically have to climb completely uh, upside down and then kind of swing, your work, swing yourself inside. Obviously, you're wearing a harness the whole time, so if you fall, like, you're safe. But still, mentally, you're climbing and you don't feel like you're tied on. And, um, it's really draining, especially when you're climbing with like one arm and you're like holding on for dear life and the boat's rocking to and fro. But I guess when I went on the Young Endeavour, um, we had some scary times. Like in the middle of the night, we had like 40 knot winds and everyone had to get up and tack and jive the boat, which took like 11 people just on the jib. And that was pretty exhausting. And we were flung from one side of the boat to the other. And we all had our like harnesses on with a tied onto the side of the boat in case anything happened. I just really want to get into other big boat racing now. Uh, maybe some more offshore racing which would be great, like some sailing to coughs and stuff. Maybe potentially sitting to Hobart depending on what boat I could get on, but I don't know. My mother would probably kill me. <laughs> but yeah, something a bit more adventurous. Um, in other people's eyes, I think people tend to sometimes respect me because I can keep up at their level and that sort of stuff. And it also makes people realise that having a disability really isn't anything because I can do the same thing as everyone else can do. So from my disability, I've definitely grown a lot of ability because I definitely feel like I tend to push myself harder and work at things a lot more than the average person would. To inspire someone to go out and be adventurous, uh, I know, like, I definitely know the feeling of being nervous and not wanting to do something and like wanting to back out in the last minute. But sometimes you just have to go and do it, and most of the times it, everything works out fine and you're really happy and feel like you've achieved a lot in life. So just go for it. <laughs>